Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. You're listening to Paul Motley here with another daily podcast for you. And I um, just want to paint a little picture for you here, right? It's Boxing Day. I am um, enjoying my usual annual trip. Uh, which is basically watching the football in the pub. And uh, I stepped outside for a minute because it's like quarter past five. It's still about 12 degrees, so it's not warm, but it's comfortable. And I'm looking across the ocean. I'm seeing the sun slowly set, set soon about half an hour from now. And it's crazy because I just look at it and see this infinitesimal uh, horizon, which is the sea. And... You know, ultimately, I know that uh, if you travel far enough, you're going to hit land again. But when you actually look out onto it, it seems like there's nothing else there. It's such a big ocean. And it reminds me of how generally, like, small we are on this planet. And the, the amount of opportunity that's out there is incredible. It really is. So if you're thinking back to like 2020 and you're thinking, oh, well, you know, this didn't work, that didn't work. Well, maybe maybe 2021 will be your year. And you'll have to apologize for the street sounds because I am literally on the street here. Um, but <clears throat> I just wanted to um, emphasize something because I've just been actually listening to um, uh, Brian Moran. And he was talking about... Um, how lowering his conversions actually helped his business. And I understand that because after listening to it, when you actually see the headline, you think, what, you know, who wants to lower the conversions? But what he was actually trying to put across was that, um, yeah, sure, you want to always try and increase your conversions, but you want the right people. So when you're looking at an offer or you're looking at an opt-in or anything like this all the tactics that you could employ which could be to um, convince people because you could be the best salesperson in the planet and have like a hundred percent opt-in rate on your email opt-in pages but do you really want everybody to opt in or do you want the right people to opt in do you really want everyone to buy from your sales page Or do you want the right people to buy from your sales page? And I think that's an important definition because if you just, if you were, like I said, if you were amazing at sales and everything like that and you managed to convince everyone to buy, maybe those people or a lot of those people just aren't right for your business. You've done such a good job of convincing them to buy, but then almost immediately they get buyer's remorse or they're just not like the right people. They might not have the right drive. They might be looking for a quick win. There might be this whole get rich quick crowd out there where they they just expect to push button success. And, you know, life isn't like that. And especially like with online business or affiliate marketing or anything like that, you can't promise that. Okay, so that's why sometimes we have disclaimers. And I always say, like, the average affiliate marketer earns nothing. Um, and that's not meaning to be rude or, or, or diss the whole industry. I always think that you need to be above average to make it, right? Because the average, which is like the majority of people, they do earn nothing because they will have a look at something they will try it out they will give up way too easy and then they'll blame the system or the program or the course that they might or the or the product that they might have bought into but that's not necessarily um a fault of the product itself it is a fault within themselves that they are not prepared to follow through they are they are way too quick to give up and they don't you know they don't have the drive that only a few do and and that's why i say like the average person just doesn't succeed so my quest for you my quest for myself almost is to stay above average and make sure that whatever you invest in whether it's investing in a program a course a training or or anything like that whatever it is you give it everything because I would say 
80% of the time, people don't release shit, right? I personally don't release crap. Um, If there's anything that I release, which is out there to buy right now, I have thoroughly tested it myself. I put my name behind it, which means something to me, so that if someone does buy it, then I expect them to give it everything and I expect them to really, you know, emulate the success which I've had. And those people which don't, then the only reason that they don't is because they haven't done it properly. They haven't tried. And that's it's interesting that I should think about that because I had a training out recently where, you know, I had a whole bunch of sales and a lot of people bought it and I got some fantastic... Um, feedback from it yet I still had three people which refunded and the reasons that they refunded were let's just say it fell into that average affiliate marketer right Um, they didn't follow they didn't try they didn't do everything that was in there and they didn't see the value and whether that was my fault really because they didn't see the value or or I didn't do a good enough job on the front end to actually show them the value or the fact that they were just being lazy or just didn't actually want to do the hard work which is involved because let's face it and we've told this before we've said this many times to get results you do need to work hard so you know and I take that on the chin I say yep okay fine whatever the reason I just refunded that's it because I'm not going to get into arguments with people i just rather say okay yep move on that's it and i think that's how anyone that's got their own products which i i say that you should always work towards especially as an affiliate marketer when you actually start releasing your own products if anybody refunds you just refund it it's you know fine yeah you lose you lose some cash doesn't matter move on and that is the ethos that you should take forward with you because at the end of the day, if people are refunding, then those are the people who she don't work with, you know, because then don't have the same mindset as you and and who wants to work with people which aren't like-minded? So anyway, I hope this uh, podcast finds you well. I'm looking forward to yet another episode with you again tomorrow. And uh, we are streaming ahead to that new year. So I hope you guys have some fantastic goals and I hope you're enjoying time with your family, which you should do, and your loved ones. And um, yeah, I'm still enjoying it. So we can keep going and I'll catch you again tomorrow.